Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm going to be doing a video on entertaining and I'm kind of happy to be doing this because it's something different and I've been doing a lot of it lately and I think it's because I moved to a place where people actually want to come visit. <laughs> so um, I've been kind of like tweaking like recipes and things that I would eat that I really, really like. And so yeah, so before I get started, I want to wish everyone a happy new year and hope everyone had an amazing holiday. So um, yeah, I've been really busy, I'm sure like everyone else has, um, so I'm just getting back on track with the videos now. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing two recipes, not really recipes, one's an hors d'oeuvre and one is a, um, like a drink, an alcoholic drink. So if you're not over 21 here in the States, obviously I wouldn't recommend that you do or that you try the um, alcoholic drink. But if you are, then it's one of my favorite and everything I'm going to be making, or both things I'm going to be making, are really, really easy and I really like them. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to get started. I'm just going to back up. So I'm going to be starting with the sangria first, and I love this recipe, and I've kind of like tweaked it over the months, or like I guess a year that I've been making it, and adding and taking away a few things, and I just really like the way it's turning out. So all you do is, um, I'm doing red sangria, so I'm choosing a bottle of red wine, and for any wine connoisseurs out there, don't look at the kind I'm using, because you definitely will not, not approve, but um, I guess any kind of wine is fine. And sangria, because you're going to be pouring so much kind of fruity things in it, like wasting a good bottle of wine isn't really the smartest thing to do, I don't think. Um, so yeah, any kind of wine that you like. And then I add vodka to mine, and I don't measure anything out. It's pretty much just the way like, it's to taste, so I kind of eyeball it. I wouldn't even know how much I'm putting in. Uh, just kind of like what you guys like, what you like would kind of make sense. And this is supposed to serve like, I guess, two to three people. And so after that, so um, wine, vodka, and then I add some orange juice. Just a splash though. And then um, you're gonna take a half of a lime. And what I do usually, is I do like lime, but I don't want it to be like too overwhelming. I'm just going to take hit the half of it, quarter it, and then I'm going to squeeze one half in, and then I'm going to drop the other half in, and, but I'm not going to squeeze it, just so I can like let it marinate, but it's not going to be too overwhelming. Then you take whatever kind of frozen fruit you have on hand that you like, and um, right now I only have raspberries on hand, so it's fine, I mean it's good, but if you had like a mixed berry selection, that would probably be better. And I'm probably going to put like a half of a cup of this in, I would say. So pretty and festive too. Like it would have been great for the holidays, but that's past. So now, either way, it's pretty, right? Okay. So then I'm gonna take um, some cinnamon, and I love the way the cinnamon tastes in sangria. So I'm going to just shake, like one, two, three, four, five, or five or six, like little shakes. I guess is what I do. Okay, then I'm going to take my stirrer. I'm going to stir this. Then I have a half of an apple here. I'm going to quarter it and just use a quarter of the apple. Just for like a little bit more fruit presence. It doesn't really, I don't think, add any sweetness, but I like when there's different kinds of fruits in your drink when you're having sangria. So, that's that. Um, the way I serve sangria, it just depends on the way I'm feeling um, and like regarding like the kind of glass I use, and I use either like a big kind of um, wine glass, like I think this is like a red wine glass, some kind, or um, if it's more casual, I'll use one of these like clear tumblers, and then um, if it's like kind of like girly, I guess, I use this little kind of cute glass. I got this one from Anthropology. I got this one from World Mart, and I got the wine glass, I believe, from World Mart as well. Um, so then I'm just going to fill up a glass. Today I'll probably use the tumbler because I think it's kind of neat. I like the way it's tall and thin. Um, I'm going to fill it up with ice cubes. And I'm really, really funny with ice cubes. I don't really like the ones that, like for pretty drinks, I think that the ones that come, like that your refrigerator or your freezer would make, like the half moon shapes, I don't think they're very pretty. So I love this kind of ice cube tray. I got it from, I got it in Little Tokyo, I believe, like in a, a some kind of a, 
like a bits and bobs store or something and it makes like really pretty like perfectly square I'm so weird ice cubes so it just looks pretty in like a, in a tall drink so hopefully I can do this see how they're just like really pretty in square ice cubes and like my refrigerator doesn't make that so I'll just put them in like this so they're just like stacked up So I'll fill it up like that and pour this in. Okay, like that. And it turned out actually really perfect because I got like a raspberry on the top and some other, um, like the other fruit, the apple, which is really pretty. And it's like the prettiest color. And it smells like really cinnamon, cinnamony and nice. It probably would taste so much better. The drink would if you let it marinate and overnight, but I don't really have time for that today, so I'm not going to, but you could. And so then I'm going to um, just put a straw in it like this. You don't have to, but I think it would be kind of difficult to drink through this cup. So that's it. So this is the drink that I love so much. It's perfect. I think I'm just good at eyeballing the measurements now because I make it so often. But I love this, and it's pretty. <laughs> okay. okay, so now I'm going to move on to um, the appetizer. and. An appetizer. It's like an hors d'oeuvre, but it's more just like something to munch on. I think my friends and I like it and whatever, so it's just some kind of like our taste. But um, I'm also going to show you how to present it. Not that, not that my friends would care if I just kind of put it on a plate, but I like to make things look nice and it's more enjoyable for me. So um, I just put this to the side. I just had this little white kind of um, white lacquer box and I got this from West Elm a couple days ago, so they still have them, I believe. They have them in different colors, too. Uh, this little white box from West Elm, and I'm um, going to be kind of plating things on here, so hopefully you can see I'll just put it down. Um, I have this little napkin that I think you guys have seen on my blog. It has, like, it's, like, checkered, and it has some gingham in it. It's gingham checkered, I mean, and it has some sparkle in it. So I'm just going to kind of lay that down on the tray just for some dimension. Um, let me get this, and I'll put this on here. Also, because I, the white lacquer, I think, um, might kind of stain easily, and the Merlot, I think this is Merlot that I used, would definitely stain um, the white lacquer box, so I don't want that to happen. So I'll put that there, and um, my drink also, put this here, and I'll get another cup out. And then um, for, I'm just going to drop like a little bit of apple at the bottom, just because I don't want that to be... The glasses to be sitting there empty it looks kind of funny. So just drop a little apple on the bottom of each one. And I'll give the rest of these to Bao because he loves apples. Now I'm going to start on the appetizer and all it's going to be is um, with, made with this baguette and it's just a, um, like a French baguette and then I've cut three different three slices kind of like um, an angle. And then I'm going to be using um, like my favorite kind of cheese. And I don't know if a lot of people know what it is, but it kind of reminds me of a brie um, where like the outside of it is um, like has that kind of like soft rind. Um, this is triple cream French Saint, Saint Andre, Andre. And I don't really know what kind it is. I, my, friend, my friend owns like a small um, restaurant where they just serve kind of like wine and cheese. And I had this kind of cheese at his restaurant one day and he said it was called Quadrello but I couldn't find it anywhere and so then when I went to the soup to the market where, the, where they have like a lot of different kinds of cheeses I was kind of just looking around for something that looked like it and I brought this home and it was like similar it wasn't exactly like it but it was similar to what he was serving so that's what it is and I'm just going to take um, slice like a small slice from each for each piece of bread I love this cheese so much. So 
So after you've kind of plated it like this, um, what the best part is, is just to drizzle a little bit of honey over it. And I've tried so many different combinations with different kinds of cheeses and honey and bread because I love the combination, but this is like my favorite. So um, it's not the healthiest thing, so I try not to have it often, but you know, just like a slice here and there is fine. Just a drizzle over each one. And it doesn't have to be perfect. When it's messy, it looks pretty, I think. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to, in this little bowl, put some sliced almonds in it. We can just kind of pick at. And I find that getting sliced almonds is better than getting the whole ones because almonds are, you know, high in fat, even they are healthy. If I had almonds, like regular almonds in front of me, I'd probably just eat like the whole can and wouldn't realize that now that these are sliced, you can kind of pick at them and they're like, you know, they're sliced. I'm just going to put a little bit in there just to kind of pick at. And then, um, just because it's my favorite, I love this kind of salami. I buy it all the time. And um, I think it's like an Italian brand. It's like a, kind of spicy. Here, what, here's what it is. You guys can stop the video and look. Um, so I guess it's a kind of chorizo. So maybe it's um, actually Spanish. But it's really good because it's kind of like spicy. But so what I'm going to do is take, take a few pieces and kind of undo them from each other and just lay them over there on that side. So about maybe six or seven pieces is fine. Like that. I'm going to take some um, of these mini what are they called? Really mini pickles. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, I think they're called jerkins or something, uh, but I like them a lot. They're very kind of really salty. Just kind of like put them here and there. I put some grapes down or something, but I don't have those. I kind of just use whatever I have on hand that kind of would taste good together. I don't really spend a lot of time on it. Um, I'm going to slice up a cup like an apple. So I'm just going to take some of my sliced apple like that and put it there. And then I think it's really good um, just to take some, some sliced Parmesan cheese. And this is the one kind that always comes sliced. And I'm just going to put it on top of the apple because I love apple and Parmesan. I think it tastes so good together. It's just kind of like that. I'm not going to even really fuss over it. I think it just looks nice if you just kind of like put it near. So that's that. I think that's going to be enough for us. And um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate it. So um, this is it, this is how I've kind of set up the table. And it's really, really simple. I mean, I just kind of always have some, like, some kind of fresh flour thing going on on my table and then these kind of pretty white bottles. Um, there's a candle, but I haven't lit it yet. And there's Bao underneath, he wants to hang out too. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's really, really simple. If I wasn't on the video kind of talking my way through, the sangria and the little appetizer, the hors d'oeuvre, it would have taken me literally five minutes. So um, really, really easy. And it's so much easier, or so much nicer, I feel like, than just throwing out like a bag of chips and salsa. I mean, I could have easily done that. So yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna be waiting for my friends now, and um, they'll be happy that I made my sangria when they come. <laughs> but I'm gonna back up and show you guys my outfit because I think it's really cute. Okay, and don't mind the cords because I've just brought a light over here because my kitchen is relatively dark. So I'm just going to back up and show you guys the outfit, talk about it a little bit. Um, okay, so what I'm wearing is this BCBG kind of bandage skirt, and it's one that you can kind of bring up as much as you like, or you can bring down as much as you like, so I kind of have it at like a longer length. And um, it's like a neon kind of green, almost yellow. And then I got this top from H&M recently, and it's at like a really cool, oh, what's the word? I'm so bad with vocabulary sometimes. Angle. It's like cut like a you know a different angle. I really like that. Those kind of odd shapes. Uh, my shoes are from a, uh, sorry, Steve Madden. Uh, they I actually got them at Marshalls. I scored them. I think they were like thirty-five dollars or something. They're that suede with a chunky heel. And um, my bag is the Louis Vuitton um, in the Armante color, and it's the bigger of the two sizes. And then my jewelry is mine. I'm wearing um, the Tray Chic. This is the Tray Chic. And then I'm wearing um, the It's All the Rage in silver with my Arctic ring. And these are some simple, just like gold 
really delicate bands, um, and they are 14 karat gold. And I'm, I got them, and I'm thinking about, um, I don't know, I just really like them a lot, so hopefully I'll be able to kind of add them soon. Um, I'll try, just because they're the perfect thin gold, and I think they're gorgeous, so we'll see. But that's it, and I hope this kind of um, inspired you guys. I love being inspired by decor and their blogs and things like that. So um, I hope everyone has a great week, and Happy New Year to everyone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.